ocean facts for kids. Did you know that the average depth of the ocean is 2.3 miles deep? Seriously, the ocean is so huge that large parts of it still remain a mystery, even with all the technology we have available. Today, we are going to talk more about the ocean and learn some cool facts along the way. Ready? Let's jump into our imaginary boat and cruise. Now that we are cruising on the ocean, let's observe some of its characteristics. First off, oceans are huge. The ocean is made of salt water and contains almost all of the water on Earth. Around 98% to be more precise. Wow, that is a lot of salt water. If you have ever seen the ocean in real life, you have probably heard waves crashing against the shoreline. These waves can be formed in different ways. First, waves can form when the wind blows across the surface of the ocean, like this. These surface waves are the most common type of wave. Because the wind is powerful and has a lot of energy, it creates friction, or resistance, between the wind and water molecules which make the water ripple. And you guessed it, the stronger the wind, the bigger the ripples. Waves can also be formed by gravity. The gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the earth to be exact. These waves are also called tides. And these tides are affected by the moon's location in relation to the earth. When the moon is closer to the earth, it pulls on the tides, causing the water to rise. This is called high tide. When the moon is farther away from the earth, it does not pull as hard on the water, which causes the water level to lower. This is called low tide. Here is an interesting fact about tides. Every day, the earth has two high tides and two low tides though they do not always occur at the same time. Cool, right? Another way that waves can form is through underwater explosions. Volcanoes and earthquakes can happen under the ocean, which causes the water to move and create waves. Some of these waves are gigantic and are called tsunamis. Remember how we mentioned that the average depth of the ocean is over two miles deep? Well, in some places, it is much, much shallower. In others, it is much, much deeper. Like dry land, the ocean floor has many different levels. The shallowest part of the ocean is called the continental shelf, which is right next to land. That is the part of the ocean you see and play in when you visit the beach and swim in the ocean. After that, the ocean floor slopes downward into basins. Then, at the bottom of the basins are big, vast, flat plains called abyssal plains. There are even mountain ranges and volcanoes. Even with all of our technology, Around 90% of the ocean is still unmapped by sonar. Here is an interesting fact. The Mariana Trench is a deep underwater crack in the ocean floor. It is 36,198 feet deep, which, if it were a mountain, would be around 7,000 feet taller than Mount Everest. The ocean is also teeming with life. Marine biologists estimate that there are between 700,000 and 1 million different species in the ocean, with over two-thirds of those species yet to be discovered. And that estimate does not include the millions of microorganisms living in the ocean. Whoa! Now that we have learned some cool, interesting facts about the ocean, let's dock our boats and review. True or false, the ocean makes up only 10% of the Earth's total water.
false. The ocean contains almost all of the water found on Earth, around 98%. Fill in the blank. Waves that are caused by wind are called blank waves. Surface. True or false? Scientists estimate that there might be as many as 1 million species living in the ocean. True. The ocean is a cool part of the Earth that is still mysterious in many ways. Maybe one day you can become a scientist who explores and studies the ocean and make an exciting new discovery. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.